back by popular demand. And I'm not joking. We have returned to South Ridge Mall in the southwestern suburbs of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, here in Greendale. I was last here on Valentine's Day 2023. A video that I uploaded only about six months ago already has 1.1 thousand views, has a few comments, and quite regularly appears in one of my most viewed videos. If you head into the YouTube studio, you have your like top five performing videos for the week. This mall is quite often on that list. I'm actually in Milwaukee today for other things. Some holiday related stuff. But I kind of wanted to stop here. I'm doing some last minute holiday shopping. And some of the stores that I want to go to are here. They have a Macy's. And you know we're kind of on a Toys R Us kick lately so you know we're going to walk through and see what they have here. And this mall is so easy to get to from McHenry. It's kind of funny. It only takes about an hour. I take the back roads into Wisconsin to Wisconsin State Highway 83 to Burlington, basically, and then connect with Wisconsin State Highway 36, which is basically like a little mini freeway. And next thing you know, you're here in the southwest suburbs of Milwaukee. It's only a tad bit longer than going down to Woodfield. And this is a pretty big mall with a lot of shops. There are two Macy's in the greater Milwaukee area. One here at Southridge and the other at Mayfair Mall. Now I was originally planning to go to Mayfair today because I have not covered that mall in this channel yet, but this mall has the stores that I want to go to, and Mayfair doesn't, so I'm going to this one today. But don't worry folks, we will be covering Mayfair in the near future. At some point I have to check the directory and see where everything is, but Macy's is right here, so... Wanna find the Toys R Us? Alrighty, exist on level one. All right, down to level one we go. Our third Toys R Us. All right, well, I see some toys. I see some Disney princess stuff. I think there's more stuff over here. Okay, this one is a tad bit smaller. <laughs> They've gotten gradually smaller the more we've gone along. But they do have one, folks. Glutoniska. Oh, that's cool, a Jeffrey backpack. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll take a quick walk through. Yeah, this is definitely a little smaller than the other ones. I do find it kind of fascinating, though, how they're all a little different. Definitely not cookie cutter, which is pretty cool. One of the next ones I want to get to eventually, probably be in the spring sometime, just to do a quick model update there anyway. 
but would be to check out the Toys R Us at the Macy's over by Hawthorne. This is the one I just picked up over at Woodfield. I kind of do like this guy, but there you have one. It's pretty cute though with the little Christmas hat. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? He's got like a little nap hat or whatever you call it. My Toys R Us Kid Fund. <laughs> the Jeffrey Pink. <laughs> Jeffrey Toy Box. And that's about it, folks. Basically, the length of this wall. All right, let's hit the mall, folks. Looks like the train express is charging up. Here should be one of the things I definitely want to check out. You got that right. They have a box lunch. Watch my first video at the Woodfield. <laughs> that one with the family. Oh yeah, this place is awesome. Found it. We got an Ohana section. Thank you. Big old stitch blanket. <laughs> Stitch 626. Six. Ooh, got an angel t shirt, too. Mm. Decorative mirror. Stitch cup. I think I saw this one with you. Grand Mickey Mini thing there. Okay, that's not stitch either. It's Disney Princess. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> Bag, including a pride stitch, that's cool. And a stitch cup. Looks like we have some more stuff over here. I spotted this one at Woodfield as well. I think Santa's gonna have that for me in my stocking. 
love it. You got the faders and stuff here. So I was in the field too. That's awesome. Or maybe it was Hot Topic. I don't remember now. Either way, though, it's really cool that, like, Invader Zen is popular, I guess. I have no idea. One of those stores I need to go to is upstairs as well. I might check out the Hot Topic. Oh, this is pretty adorable. A couple hearts. It's like a flower arrangement thing, kind of. This is the place that has that round one arcade thing. Basically sort of a Dave and Buster's. I already walked through there. If you want to check out that place more, look at my previous video. Guess the escalator is broken. Walk up it. But you know what? Whatever. We're here. I'll take a quick walk again now just to see how the bowling alley is doing because this is really awesome. It's David Buster's basically but they have a bowling alley. It's really awesome. And I am going to do this sometime. Especially considering how close Southridge is to McHenry like I said. To see if I can find some friends that want to go with me. <laughs> That'll be the tricky part. Do we have some pinballs here. That's cool. Takes the cars of course. Couple party rooms, some billiards. Holy crane overload here. <laughs> wow, okay. That's kind of nice. Oh my god, there are so many cranes here. This is insane. I have a beverage this last time. Obviously, I didn't walk through this section or something. Wow. Just keeps going and going. Man, that's wild. I've never seen anything like this before. So many cranes. I mean, cranes weren't really a thing much at David Buster's back in the day when I went there. Maybe that's changed over the years. The next store I want to check out is just ahead here on the second floor. I haven't bought anything yet, but I will there. Ooh, they have a Spencer's, the one in Spring Hill just close. Should I check this one out? Oh my god, this is so Spencer's right here. This is a Spencer's. I remember lava lamps, lights and stuff I used to get from my arcade. The original Wayne's Arcade or most stuff I Usually end up picking up at Spencer's. I actually have something very similar to Wayne's Arcade World if you've seen my previous video. And like again, I say you probably did pick it up at Spencer's, but good to know they're still making it if it ever breaks. I also told Santa about this. I don't know if I'm getting this or not. There's a, certainly a possibility this may be in Wayne's Arcade World soon. They did have a full on stitch section as well. Very similar to box lunch and I walked in but there was a worker there so I didn't want to film it. All right, next door. Yep, this is for the wife. <laughs> Easy peasy. A very practical and wife-approved stocking stuffer. She even tells me what she needs and what she doesn't need. Now obviously this is not quite the size of Woodfield. I'd even go to say it's smaller than Stratford Square. But if you saw my other video, you know what happened to Stratford Square. We still need to check out Mayfair, but this is definitely one of the 
bigger malls in the Milwaukee area. This is definitely far from a dead mall, although it's interesting. I've seen various comments, not so much on my videos, but on other ones, how this is, I don't know how to say it, but basically I get the vibes like, oh, it's not how it used to be, you know? But I also don't really remember how it used to be. <laughs> I didn't visit this mall for the first time until the last video, Valentine's Day 2023. Definitely doing better than its counterpart, Northridge Mall over in the north side of Milwaukee that actually is finally for sale. <laughs> so now I'm just hoping to find someone that will buy the property and take it out of its misery. And even the state of Wisconsin has granted $15 million towards the demolition and redevelopment of that property. I promise you that we will get to Mayfair soon, but basically in the end it came down to that South Ridge had a Bath and Body Works, and Mayfair did not. And that's going to do it for our visit to South Ridge Mall in Greendale, Wisconsin. But our Milwaukee adventures are just beginning, folks. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next video. Thank you for watching.